Hello, I am Olivia Sambo, CEO and owner of Profits and Books Bookkeeping Services and Online Marketing Services in Pretoria. Thank you so much for watching this video. And of course, I would like to ask you to like and subscribe to this channel. But I'm so happy that you are here. Today, I want to talk about the SARS letter of demand. It's not a pleasant conversation to have, and it does not, it's not even an exciting conversation to have. But unfortunately, a lot of South Africans are now getting a letter of demand for outstanding tax returns or where it states that you owe SARS money. It is one of the worst feelings in the mornings. When you mind, you wake up in the morning, minding your own business, you check your emails or you check it or you get an SMS. And here is SARS with their letter of demand. It's not a good feeling. So then what do you do? Because the first response naturally is to ignore it. Because look, a lot of us feel aggrieved that why is it that you have to pay tax to SARS? And yet it seems that so many people are chowing the money and they're getting away. Well, the answer to that is, unfortunately, our tax is our responsibility. Your tax is your responsibility. And SARS does not deal with emotions or with sentiments. They only deal with the facts. And the fact is, according to their records, you have a business and you have not been filing tax returns. So that is the facts that they have in front of them. But what happens when you have a dormant company? When you, a dormant company is a company, a business that you have registered, but you've never used it. It's just that it has never been operational. You never made any money from this company. That is a dormant company. So in the past, it was, if you didn't make any money, you just didn't file your tax returns, right? By law, the right thing would have done to file the tax returns, but normally you didn't because you think, ah, you know what? I'm not making money. It's not necessary for me to file my tax returns. But here is the issue. SARS doesn't know that you're not making money. SARS doesn't know that the business is not operational. SARS doesn't know that you did not derive an income from this business. All they see is that you have never filed any tax returns. So now they assumed that you have been making money. So then that letter of demand that you get is 250 Rand for every month after your tax deadline that you have not filed the tax returns for your business. So what do you do now when you get that letter? Because I know you're not going to bless SARS for thank you for sending me this, tax, this uh, letter of demand. No, you're going to be very angry. You're going to say stuff SARS. I won't pay my taxes. You will be defiant and you will be defensive. But like I've said, SARS does not deal with sentiments. They do not deal with emotions. So you call the call center. It is a toll free number. You don't pay a red blue cent. You don't pay anything. Doesn't matter how long you have to call. You must know that when you call, you might be lucky and you might, your call might get answered within five minutes, 10 minutes, or you might have to hold for an hour or longer. So be prepared for that. The other thing you need to be prepared for, sorry, is that it will depend who you get on the other side of the line. You might get someone who's very knowledgeable and informed about your issue, and they will give you the guidance on what you must do. Or you will get someone who absolutely hates their job, who hates what they are doing, and they will give you crappy advice, or they will tell you to go to a tax practitioner or a tax advisor. You might find someone who is not 
able to even answer your most basic questions. Then what do you do? You say thank you very much and you call again until you get to someone who can explain to you what to do and why you are in arrears with SARS. So when you speak to that person, make sure before you make the call, you have your ID number, your tax number, the reference number of the letter of demand. You have that available. Three things I will repeat, ID number, tax number, and the reference number of the letter of demand. You are calling just to confirm that this is really from SARS. When they advise you to go to a tax advisor, the reality is tax advisors are unaffordable to the average South African. It is expensive, especially when you have a dormant company that you've never made money from and you get slapped with a bill of 15,000 Rand and now they tell you to go to a tax advisor. That's unrealistic. So what do you do now? What you need to do is go to your e-filing portal. And that is the most powerful place to start. You register if you have not done so. Register as a taxpayer in your personal capacity. You do not register as the company. You register as the taxpayer in your personal capacity if you have not registered before. If you have registered before and you log on, even if you've forgotten your username and your password, you can request that from SARS. And all you can do it online. Everything is there. So now you have logged on with your username, your password, and you find, hello, there's no record of your company. And you search, there's absolutely nothing that comes up. The reason for that, in previous years, you could register a separate profile for your business, separate profile for you in your personal capacity. What SART has done now, they have put it together. So under your personal profile, your company profile will be as well. So you now need to register your company profile under on your personal profile profile. All the steps are there or you can go to other YouTube videos where they will explain how you register your company with SARS. So now your company is registered on the SARS portal and yeah, I speak specifically to those who have dormant companies. Those people are going to file zero zero which means there's nothing that you have to give to SARS. So that you can now file these tax returns on the SARS portal, on your e-filing profile, under your company name. And as you file for each year that is outstanding, when you file the tax return, you will see that the amount owed or the amount outstanding will reduce reduce with every tax return that you file for each year. Say for instance, you haven't filed since 20, say 2016. So when you file 2016, it will reduce the amount. 2017, it will reduce 2018 until your records are up to date with SARS. But I just want to warn you. In before, you could file your tax returns even if it was late. The moment that you filed it, the penalty falls away. But now, there might be a possibility that even though you have filed your returns and it's zero, zero, there might be a possibility that SARS will still penalize you for late submission. That even though now you have submitted your tax returns, they are still going to punish you for submitting it late. So this is in a nutshell, when you have gotten the dreaded, hated letter of demand. If you have a company 
and it has been operational and you get the letter of demand, then it changes things a bit because now you need to find a bookkeeper who will be able to structure all your things. And then, of course, before you even get the bookkeeper, you need to go to SARS and you need to acknowledge and find out what are the next steps. And then you need to get a bookkeeper. And then your bookkeeper will then structure your things in such a way that it is ready to submit tax. And it is everything is in order and then you can clear your name by SARS. We all have mixed emotions when it comes to SARS. You know, but at the end of the day, if your documents are in order, if things are recorded properly, if you have kept records and you can prove to SARS that you don't owe them any money, it reduces the outstanding amount. But do not, under any circumstances, do not ignore the letter of demand. Do not, I know, I know, it's so easy to get irritated and angry and worked up. But whatever you do, don't ignore the letter of demand. SARS now, go and visit in your bank account and they will take what is there if you owe them money. And also they can attach your things. You know, it's a very painful and unpleasant, it's a horrible, horrible thing to experience. So whatever you do, go to SARS, say this is my situation. I cannot afford a tax advisor. I know I owe this money. What would you advise me to do? Because remember, the person sitting in the call center, the person sitting in the branch is not the same person who deals with outstanding tax returns. It's not the same person who deals with disputes. So it's different departments. You can't stop at the first one and say, ah, I've tried everything, so I'll just leave it. No, you have to drive this thing. It will take a lot out of you. A lot of emotions, a lot of fear, a lot of concern, a lot of energy. And you will get very angry and very frustrated. Be prepared for that. But at the end of the day, this can be resolved. And then I also want to warn, there are a lot of scams going around when it comes to the letter of demand. Because the first thing when you get that letter, either you will ignore it or you want to resolve it. Those are the two things. So with the scam, they will send you a link. It's a scam. The moment you hear, click on this link. It is a scam. SARS does not send you a link. SARS will send the letter of demand via email. You will then have to download the letter, but they will never ever give you a link to click on. Please, please, please do not click on any links when you get a letter of demand. It's a scam in that case. First of all, start with calling them or go onto your e-filing portal. Another thing I also want to mention is that um, when you get the letter of demand, either you, when you call them, you won't get any joy. In many cases, you might, you might not. The second best thing to do is then to go and make a booking online. You can sit at home, in your bedroom, in your lounge, in your office, wherever you are, you can sit there and make an a booking to go to the branch. Do not rely on a phone call. This is your life. This is your money. And you need to sort it out what in whatever way possible that will be of a benefit to you. So don't stop at the call center. Make the booking immediately so that you can go to a SARS 
walk-in branch and find answers there. And then from there, they will guide you. I hope that this has, in a way, given you a little bit, bit of direction of how to deal with the letter of demand. And if you have received the letter, I just want to say it's not the end of the world. There, all, there is always a solution and always a way out. But what you have to remember, don't ignore it, take action, go to the branch and ask for guidance. I thank you for watching and um, please, I would really appreciate it once again if you could like, subscribe and just leave a comment on what was your experience with SARS, what you think can be better and also any suggestions on what you would like me to talk about. I am Olivia and thank you so much for watching this video.